Hey guys, today I'm bringing you eight restaurant recommendations from the gallery. They are all no CC lots so that you can download them even if you don't use CC. I'm doing this because it's really difficult to find anything on the gallery and it's even more difficult to find really nice restaurants or any kind of lot on the gallery. So let's get started with our first restaurant. I don't know about you, but I love a good brunch spot and that's why I started with a brunch bar. I think this brunch bar is is gorgeous i really like the interior and the exterior let's start with the first thing that i love this selling table right here is awesome because i'm currently doing a challenge which is the joy live challenge and it's really difficult to sell things so with this selling table you could come here pay a portion of a fee to the restaurant owner and then use the selling table which i think is really great for gameplay they have a bar of course which i love they have a lot of space downstairs and they also have a lot of space upstairs too where it's more entertaining so i would say downstairs is more intimate and upstairs is more entertaining because they have the piano also another thing that is my utmost favorite is this private area right here so if you want to have a galentine's lunch this is private where you guys can actually relax and talk this fusion restaurant has such a good flow when it comes to the decor I love it so much that I couldn't believe that this is no CC at all. I love that when you go in, it actually just ushers you into the restaurant. The downstairs doesn't have too much seating, but upstairs makes up for it. It has two bars and an outside area. Well, two outside areas to be specific. And I love both of those. So one is a balcony that you could have like a private dinner kind of because there isn't too much seating and the other is if you have a group of friends and you can just hang out after you have your dinner i don't know why but this bistro somehow reminds me or gives me a feel of the out sunset in san francisco where i used to live and oh my gosh <laughs> That makes me feel so nostalgic that I was like, oh, I have to have it. They have a downstairs area that has a piano, which I think is really good because it just gives a feel of you coming over here to have drinks after work. Upstairs, I would just request a table if I want to just come grab lunch with my sim. And then downstairs, if I'm coming here with my girls or if I have a male sim, my boys, and just to hang out, it's perfect for that. I wonder if you'll notice the difference with the Asian fusion restaurant, the deco was different, but with this Chinese restaurant, it's very prominent and you can tell that it is a Chinese restaurant. I love that there is private areas outside and also you'll be sheltered from the rain if it is raining so you can still enjoy an outdoor dinner there is upstairs and a downstairs more space i would say upstairs and you know how sometimes when you go to the bathroom you have to wait i love that they have sofas over there and downstairs is the kitchen also lockers for the waiters that work there which i think is really really cool i think this would be great if you enjoy going to themed like dinners and also just being realistic this is one of my favorites. I have used it in my game, have not changed a thing. I usually put it in Windenburg. It's just, I don't know, it just screams rich for me. <laughs> I love the indoor and the outdoor. So the indoor has two seating areas. This one right here that you see, it has more space, I would say. And then there is the opposite side where you can actually see the kitchen. And on that side, the seating area is not as much you just have like a couple of tables i think three of them and then when you go outside outside has a bonfire where you can sit with your like friends and have drinks because there's a bar and there's also some seating here it's just this will most likely happen <laughs> your sims might try and roast the marshmallows which if you're okay with it then great like but it can sometimes break the immersion but <laughs> i think it's still cool to have a fire upstairs is where the bathrooms are and i love that they separated and it looks beautiful 
Next is a cozy Indian restaurant. I really love this creator's build that she or he does really well every single time. And this restaurant here doesn't have a lot of space. It's quite small and cozy, which I'm not uh, like opposed to. I think it has less than 10 tables, if I'm not mistaken. It has a private area, which you could have dinner with friends or family. You could obviously change out the table and make it dinner for two which is quite nice as well so you can play around with it for yourself um i have to say that when you place the lot down you have to do some changes because the chef can't get into the kitchen and i realized this a little bit later after my sims had ordered so what you have to do is remove the cabinet or the table i don't know what to call it <laughs> and then the chef will be able to go into the kitchen and cook I of course had to include an Italian restaurant and it's the same creator that we just had that made the Indian restaurant and I really love this. I've never been to Italy but I feel like this is how it will look and feel. It's just very um, Italian. <laughs> I could be wrong sorry if you're italian um but i really love the space the entrance is quite cramped for me because you know how sims can be they all just like gather in one place there is one bar which i also think is perfect because of all the space that they have they have two balconies and on each balcony they have i think three tables out there they have a lower balcony and an upper balcony right here where your sims can sit which i think it's nice in the summer and upstairs they have a really really big seating area they also have a fireplace which i think is really nice and cozy and romantic they also have their bathrooms up here as well they have this little nook right here which i thought was really really cool if you're coming with like sims that are having an affair maybe you never really know and this is how it looks from the back of the restaurant it's really nice our last restaurant is the glass cube restaurant i really like this too it's separated into two so the seating area and dining area rather um and the bar area which i feel like that's a lot of bars i don't know if they still do that often but when i used to watch movies back in the day that's how it usually would usually would be like where you sit at the bar and where you can go and dine the dining area has the kitchen and then the bar area also has leads into an outside area which is quite nice so you can grab your drinks and come and sit outside and also there is an area where you can go and wash your hands and not necessarily just go to the bathroom so the bathroom has its own sinks and then there's a sink area right here which i really like too because sometimes you just want to wash your hands okay guys this is all i have i'm sorry if it doesn't showcase everything correctly but i hope it does help this is my first time so please be gentle with me <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye